Hello, all my free healing friends. I hope you are having a great ski season. I do my best to release a new video each Friday, and I already have several in the queue for release later this month. They are usually a couple weeks behind real time, but I thought I'd do a midweek release this week to answer a question that has come up. The question was asked, is there an easy way to remove the Fisher Easy Skin without removing the skis? The short answer is yes, and I'll show you how. You know, with backcountry skis where you have a full length skin and you got a tail connector back here, there's a pretty well established method for pulling, ripping those off without having to take your skis off. It's more difficult with a fisher skin because first of all, you don't have a tail you can grab. You're gonna have to get the ski up in some fashion so you can reach under here and peel it off. I'm gonna balance on this pole here with my hand and lift the ski up. Bring it across like this. Now, if you had if you had skins that full length skins, you can literally grab onto the tail right here, and you can pull it forward. But like I say, bend this down here, bend your knee right here, so you can rest this foot across here like this. I don't know if you let me twist this way so you can see a little better here. Now, what that does is that makes it quite easy to grab this skin, pull it up. And then, of course, the most difficult part is to get this loose here. And there you have it. Then carefully position, reposition your skis. Once again, we want to put a pole down in the ground to balance. We want to, now these are 178s. You want to lift the ski and you want to have the ski put up the ski crossed so that your skis are crosswise like this. You want to bend this knee down here. So you have some place to rest your, your foot against like this, balancing with this pole. Then you can reach back here. I'm even doing this with gloves. Find the edge of the skin. Peel it up. Try to keep it so it doesn't get in the snow. And off you go. Then carefully put your ski back down. Then you want to fold your skins up, put them glue side together, put them someplace where they'll be warm and dry. Hello all you free healing friends. It is the 12th of January. We're just having an amazing snow season here in Northwest Wyoming. So far this winter, I've been trying to post a new video every Friday. And uh, of course the videos aren't in real time, I've got a lot of them in the queue, and I thought I'd give you a little update. Tomorrow's video is going to be on a subject that's drawn a lot of controversy over on Telmark Talk, and that has to do with the physics and science of skiing. There's been a lot of argument over there about cables and hard wires and, and forces and pressures and turning. Uh, what, one of the things I wanted to address basically is uh, whether or not you can get adequate tip pressure with a flexor based system, something like the Triple NBC or the New Explorer system. And uh, so tomorrow's video is gonna be all about that. The video for January 20th is one that I just shot last week. And a Telmark Talk user that goes by the name of Bavarian Cream uh, came up here to do a little bit of skiing with me. Uh, and we went down, we skied at Salt River Pass, we always skied at Black Mountain. And it's gonna be all about that experience skiing with him. And then on January 27th, I'm going to release a video entitled Tippy Toe Tailmark. We're going to talk a little bit about proper ski form and whether or not with the new Explorer system and particularly with the Alpha Free Boots, whether it forces you to do a little Tippy Toe Tailmark skiing. I'm going to do my best to continue to try to post a new video every Friday as long as I can come up with some interesting topics and maybe just some beautiful scenery. So be sure to stay tuned. Until next time, be safe, be kind, leave me a thumbs up if you like these videos, and be sure to have fun.